Well, it is National Lumberjack Day on Sunday. Not today, but we decided, <laughs> hey, we'll celebrate early here. That's right. Our own Lumber Jill, Candace Monticelli, <laughs> joins us live from Flannel, Flannel Jacks's. Candace, you have been missing those shots except, and the teases, except on social media, you are killing okay. it. Let me clarify. Lumber Jill <laughs> made one so far. We saw it. It was just for uh, social media. So you'll have to go check out my Instagram. I, I did it. make one. Yes. I need to do it. I need to do it two handed. So only doing it one handed <laughs> is not my strong suit. So that's the challenge there. But here at Flannel Jacks, we are getting prepared for Lumberjack Day. And they have a couple different games than even just the axe throwing we saw last hour. So Matt, their general manager, is with us. And now we have another game that you guys have called Thump the Stump, right? Absolutely. What is this one? Thump the Stump. It is a fun game where we are competing to drive nails into the stump. Uh, the way I like to play it is I'm going to try to hit my nail in as few hits as possible, and you're going to try to beat me. Okay, here we go. I'm putting the safety goggles on. Safety I'll... first always. Should I go first? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, I bent mine. Now, how long does this usually take for people to do? Is it, you know, ooh, ooh. Oh, nice job. <laughs> is um, it like three, four hits, or? Uh, the uh, record is three hits. Three hits. Yep. Uh, we are not doing three hits. Definitely sure. not. I hope my dad's not watching. Oh, I keep missing. Is there any strategy to this? <laughs> <laughs> As you laugh. There is not. Focus on the top of the nail. Try not to miss. Don't uh, don't swing it too hard because that usually uh, will mess up your your hit. Don't swing it too hard. I hope yeah. my dad isn't watching either. This is bad. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna go build any decks anytime soon. Exactly. Well, very good. So there's different games that you can have, and of course, axe throwing being your most popular. Tell us about how you can get points with the axe throwing. I know we learned how to throw the axe last hour. How do we get points? I'm gonna try to throw it again too. Yeah. Well, we have a ton of different games to play uh, here at Flannel Jacks. The uh, one that's the most popular is probably um, the one that's played in the World Axe Throwing League. So you get 10 Ooh. throws. Um, on your fifth and your 10th throw, you can opt to try to hit the money shot, which is the green dot. It's worth 10 points. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm going to try to hit a bullseye every throw. And then on my fifth and my 10th throw, I'm going to attempt to hit that money shot to get the high score. And what's the high score? Oh like, my are we goodness. going up to 50 points? Are we going up to like, does the game stop at a certain point level? Um, it really doesn't stop. So uh, the maximum that you can get uh, with your 10 throws. Never any fun. Okay, I'm gonna put my mic down and throw this two-handed and we're gonna hope it works again this time. So here we go. Okay. Oh, almost, I did get it once, I swear, I promise. Matt, see if you can do it. Okay. Nice, there we go. The professional shows up great. And Matt, where can we come this weekend to celebrate and become a lumberjack ourselves here at Flannel Jack? Yep, we are at 601 Lake Michigan Drive, right on the corner of Seward, uh, downtown, just across the street from the YMCA. Perfect, all right. Lumberjack Jill Candace, we are, uh, what is it now? 2 0 oh for 2, but one I did make on Instagram. So, Tesla and Ruta, next hour. Keep your fingers crossed. Maybe we'll make one. <laughs> we have so much faith in you, Candace. We do. You got this. <laughs> and I think if I was there, I wouldn't be doing much better than you. So, props, props. <laughs>